Welcome back. With me now I have Ron Short, who's president of the Glendale Historical Society, and Carol, who's the vice president. Let's talk a little bit more about Manistee Ranch. We're in the main guest house, but there's other buildings that the Historical Society uh, is in charge of and operates here at the ranch. Well, we are the owners of the buildings, except for the pump house up in front, which belongs to the city. But our buildings here were part of the section that we saved. When we got this property, it was divided, we divided it into two parts. The city owned the front part and the date grove, and we owned the part with the buildings. And the reason we got it that way is for money. We could get twice as much money and we could be able to buy it. Otherwise, the city was going to lose probably and not be able to get this whole piece of property. And then we got money for the restoration and contributions from the city each year. That was back when we could get it from the lottery fund. And I was president when we got it. Well, fantastic. I know it, it's been, uh, for the Cactus District, it's fantastic having it here. As you know, I'll hold my um, district meetings here at the ranch to encourage citizens to come out. Ron, if people want to get involved with the Historical Society, how would they do it? Well, one, they go, go to our website at www. Uh, Glendale, Arizona Historical Society, uh, and we have all sorts of historical information on that particular website besides applications for membership uh, and events that we're having. Uh, we have uh, our monthly meetings on the fourth Monday of each month uh, at, at the, and here at Manistee Ranch at 7 p.m. This month in, in March, on March 24th at 7 p.m., we're having Pete Urain, uh, who takes care of the Russian Cemetery on 75th uh, Avenue. And he'll, he's gonna be telling stories about people who are buried there or near there <laughs> in the cemetery. So it's gonna be very, very interesting. Uh, the following uh, month in uh, April, we'll have a program on the history of daring farming, dairy farming. Uh, and Eric Rovi will be making that presentation on this. And so we have excellent uh, pr uh, programs every month. Uh, we have a wonderful newsletter that we send out with a lot of information about the history of Glendale. Uh, we have tours of Manistee Ranch uh, on the first and third Sundays of the month from 12, Saturdays from uh, 12 to 4, and uh, the guest house at Sorrell Ranch uh, on Sundays from, uh, from t uh, 12 to 4 in that particular time period. Uh, we have old histories that we do for uh, 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 some of our older members we have and, and residents of the area that can provide us some really good stories about the history of Glendale. So we have a lot of history programs going on to uh, promote and to preserve uh, the history of Glendale. So people are invited to come to Sorrell Ranch and visit the guest house. Uh, we're open, uh, our offices are open uh, Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. Uh, to uh, 2 p.m. And also one of the interesting and new things that we do in order to support the society is that we facilitate weddings uh, at Sorrell Ranch uh, Rose Garden and, and uh, the guest house. So again, you just need to call 623-435-0072 uh, uh, and ask for information about that. It's just, we've done over 1,600 weddings since 1986 uh, at the Rose Garden uh, uh, in, in at Sorrell Ranch. So, so those are some of the things that we do. We're a very active uh, group and, and we're looking for new members to come in with enthusiasm about the history of Glendale and we'd like to have them join us and become volunteers with us uh, on the various activities that we do. So the his Historical Society is one of the biggest matchmakers, I guess, out there right now with all the weddings you're performing. <laughs> Not one of the biggest, but an important one. And, and an interesting venue. All right. Another thing we have that's unique is we have a wonderful card file of all the obituaries from the Glendale, old Glendale newspapers. So, and it's old fashioned, you can thumb through it and really look at it. You don't have to look at a computer screen. 
and we have calls from people wanting to, uh, to get the date. If we get the date, they then can go to the newspaper. And we keep that file up to date with uh, extractions from the Arizona Republic too. And so that's an important tool. And the other thing is we have a fantastic photo collection of historic photos and we get lots of calls mm -hmm. for things like that. So we are interested in not just our ranches, but we are interested in anything that has to do with Glendale. That's our purpose, is right. we all love Glendale. Right. 